Hey guys, so I thought I would do a little overview on some new jeans that I got. They're made by the Flathead, as you'd probably expect if you've seen any of my other videos. These are the 3005As. They are basically the exact same thing as the 3005s, you know, same cut, loose, straight, almost no taper, with a medium rise, for how full they are. But obviously some differences, the A in them which differentiates them is because they're partly natural indigo. They're not made with 100% natural indigo because I think I've read that Flathead wanted to keep their classic fade, which is, you know, the streaks, the vertical streaks that they're known for. So I think that if they use 100% natural indigo, it would look more different than what they were, what they thought they would have, what they wanted for the jean. So that's pretty cool that they're pretty dedicated to, you know, their classic look. So definitely respect that. It would maybe be cooler to have 100% natural indigo just because it would look different, but I could see why they would want to keep their jeans looking like flathead jeans. Uh, some differences with the denim, just looking at it. It's definitely lighter than, you know, with the classic Pioneer denim, the 14.5 ounce, made with synthetic indigo, I'm pretty sure. Definitely lighter, like in color. It's, uh, it's a little more gray, like gray tone, but that could change after I wash it. These are just still, uh, like, pre-soak, nothing, nothing, never touch water or anything like that. They seem softer, too, but I haven't had a new pair of Pioneer denim for, like, five or six months, so... They could be exactly the same stiffness, but they seem a little softer. Some differences. The rivets are iron, so that's another difference. Uh, Flathead's usual rivets, which I have right here, are copper. Copper is like pretty, it's a little shinier, but obviously these look different because they've actually, you know, they've aged, they've oxidized a little bit. I think personally I like copper rivets better because they're a little more like, they stand out a little bit more, which I think looks pretty awesome, like compared to the Deep Indigo. But I've seen pictures of them when they're worn, and it seems like the iron like gets shinier somehow after you wear it. Maybe it's just the picture, but I think these are going to age nicely, as I'm sure Flathead wants them to. Uh, iron button, as you would expect from Flathead's jeans. Nice, tight, rolled belt loop. Classic Flathead details, what you see in most jeans that are, like, you know, really nice. This is going to be more braided. Iron rivets. Let's go to the back. Let's see, more differences, okay. So, pockets, they're a modified overseas stitch, even though these only came out in uh, Japan. The stitch is modified, usually the stitch is basically exactly like this, but without the infill of orange here. So I actually don't like it a bunch. I think I like the overseas better, and I like the domestic ones even better than that. But I might leave it like this just because, it's nice to have jeans that look different, so these are definitely something different. Uh, the patch, the flathead, nothing crazy, but it's a little different than the patch on the 305s, the normal ones. So these are, I think it's this cow, or I think it might be deer skin actually, the patch. It's really nice, like super soft and supple. It's like tan and red. And this actually gets the exact same pattern, but it's uh, it feels a little different. I don't know if it's a different material, but it feels a little different. It's tan, but it's like a brown. It's the exact same pattern, I guess, but the... Uh, this part is brown and it's kind of like raised too whereas on this one it's just flat it's like printed on this one I don't know if they they must have done something because it uh it feels like it's carved in there almost which is pretty cool what else is there okay oh also the pocket bags these don't this doesn't matter much because you're never really gonna see the pocket bags but they're a little different it's more like a it's a khaki color has the flat head printed on it whereas on the regular 305s it's like a white color, and the flathead is yellow printed on it. Another difference, which I forgot to talk about in my other video. It's pretty awesome, is I went to the Self Edge Flathead Pop-Up Shop Party, and uh, I got Kobayashi-san, who's the president of the Flathead, started the brand. He signed these, so that's pretty cool. It says the Flathead, it's it's wearing off because I wash my jeans a lot, and uh, maybe the sharp I used wasn't super good, but and it's okay, you get the point. He's a super nice guy. He doesn't speak any English, but I wouldn't expect him to speak any English because he's a Japanese guy. And uh, in Japan, when I was there, it seems like English is not a huge, is not of huge importance in Japan. A lot of the people that you would see on the street don't, you know, speak very much English, which makes sense. I'm not saying that, like, you know, Japanese people should speak English because, you know, we're the U.S., but a lot of other countries, English, you know, if you've been traveling abroad... A lot of other countries, almost everybody speaks English, but in Japan they don't, so that was something that was interesting. Luckily, uh, when I went to the denim stores, it was almost like we were bonding through like the language of denim. 
because we were talking, they didn't really speak a bunch, like, perfect English by any means, but it seemed like we got to, I got to communicate with them just fine by, like, talking about the lingo that's, you know, cordovan, deerskin, feld, whatever, all this stitching. So, yeah, these are a great pair of jeans. I think I'm really going to enjoy wearing them. I'm not planning on wearing them too soon because I really want to get these faded, and they're looking really great so far. But... Next time I need a pair of jeans, these are definitely going to be the ones that I'm going to wear, and I'm very excited, and it's really hard to not wash these and see how they actually fit. I'm only trying them on. I don't know if I'm crazy, well I am, but I have a theory that if you wait to hem your jeans, so these, th these shrink three inches in the length, pretty much like guaranteed if you wash them all the time. So I think that if I hem them three inches longer than I want them, and I only hem them before I get before they're washed ever, so when they're pre-soak, and then I wash them, I never get them hemmed again. I have a theory that like the roping is gonna be better because when you stitch it, obviously the stitch stays in the same place, but when you shrink it, that or when you wash it for the first time, it's gonna shrink the most. It shrinks three inches. Obviously, you know, the denim wants to shrink, it's gonna tug at the stitching, which I think causes roping. I don't know, that's my theory. But I'm gonna I think that's why I think I'm gonna wait until I uh, hem these to wash them, so that's fun. I've never ever waited to wash a pair of jeans to wear them. Usually I get a pair of jeans and I like toss them on for a second, take some pictures and just like throw them in the washer just to see how they're going to look because I'm always like so anxious. But not the case with these. So these are going to be waiting for a while. Probably not going to see too much fading of these going on anytime soon. Uh, Selvage is like the exact same. It's, the, uh, it's orange just like on this pair. These are orange too. Exact same selvage. Pretty similar jean, but that's really what I wanted. I wanted a jean that was similar to 305s because I love them so much, but different enough to warrant another purchase. And these are definitely it. The next, you know, pair of jeans that I really want, other than these ones that I have, which are two, which are two fantastic jeans, is uh, another pair that came out in 2011 or 2012. It's a Flathead RJB collaboration. Flathead cut 305, you know, cut of these two, but with RJB's denim which is a pretty like sick combination. They make a bunch of flathead collaborations with RJB, but they're flathead's denim and flathead's cut with RJB details. So I think like the stitching and like the patch is different and they have the little pirate logo, which is great. That's cool. But I don't know why they would do the collaboration. Like, and I mean like a few, like five collaborations with like basically the exact same jeans. And I think that people would want to see flathead's cut with RJB's denim because that's, you know, actually different. Because RJB's detailing is for sure cool, but I don't think it's that much different than Flathead, so I don't know if it warrants that many collaborations. But, you know, we can hope. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll find a pair of regular RJB's that fit me, but it seems like most of them are a lot slimmer than 305's, which is what I need. So here's, like, like you know, a little comparison. This is raw, so obviously it would look different even if this was, you know, brand new. But it's definitely grayer. Uh, it's supposed to fade with a more turquoise hue, which I'm really looking forward to. And, uh, yeah, these are the 305As from the Flathead. Great pair of jeans. If you find, if you can find some, I would definitely recommend getting them because I think they're going to be beautiful and they're rare and that makes them even more fun. So, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you later. Bye.